So Nigeria is 56 today and I want to thank God for how far we've come as a nation even though it's a backward progress. You see there's a lot I'd like to say about Nigeria but for the sake of this episode let's focus on the issue of electricity because power failure happens to be the oldest of all the problems we have in Nigeria. In my village where I come from they call it the Okpaluku, the eldest. So power failure is the Okpaluku of all the problems we have in Nigeria. I'm not the type that likes to say negative things about my nation or about my country but I have a problem with the system that runs the affairs of this nation. You see, normally we send our kids to private schools because it is expected that private schools will produce better results than government schools. But a private NEPA and a government NEPA so far has produced the same results of failure. I walk around and see transformers, I see cables, and I begin to ask myself, so we have all this equipment, so why don't we have lights? Let me tell you a story. I have a friend who has a friend that is a NEPA guy. So whenever this my friend wants light, he usually sends recharge card to his friend who is a NEPA guy and they'll bring the light and they leave it for as long as he wants the light to last. And I begin to ask myself, could this be wickedness? So they have light, they can give us light and they withhold it. The transformer is not their own. The dam is not their own. The cables are not their own. Even the office that they call, the building that they call their offices are not their own. So why don't they give us light? Mr. Nepa, let me give you a new workflow from today. When you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth, you have your bath, and you get to the office. Just turn on the switch and leave it. Just in case you're wondering why I keep calling them Nepa, it is because there is no electricity producing agency. That is what they are. So, happy Independence Day, Nepa.